Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to be talking about NXT today and NXT's TakeOver Respect show that's scheduled for October 7th of next week. And um, it looks like it's going to be a great show. Obviously, it's going to be the first NXT TakeOver event main evented by two females. Bailey and Sasha Banks, that would be cool, but uh, there's a lot of other cool stuff going on here. There's not real, there's not an NXT World Championship title defense, which is fine, I guess, because Finn Balor's been in the Dusty Rhodes Classic instead of uh, defending his belt since the Brooklyn uh, since the Brooklyn show, but <clears throat> it's still going to be a really, really great show, just like NXT does every time. Um, uh, first match I'll talk about is... Finn Balor and Samoa Joe versus the mechanics of Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, and <clears throat> the mechanics. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Um, <clears throat> um, so the mechanics beat the Vaude Villains uh, surprisingly, and uh, that threw a threw a whole different. It just threw everything off. Obviously, the Vaude Villains NXT Tag Team title champions, I believe, still. Now, you wouldn't expect Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, the mechanics, to beat them. So, that was cool, but you obviously know that Finn Balor and Samoa Joe are going to win this one because Finn Balor is the most popular NXT wrestler right now. Sami Zayn's out now, so um, he is the most popular. Plus, Samoa Joe is definitely one of the most popular wrestlers in the United States, if you're talking, like, indie stars and up-and-comers, but, yeah, then Samoa Joe's just very popular with the smarky crowd, so they're going to the finals, obviously, they're going to beat the mechanics, um, I can see, um, I can see the start of a feud between Joe and Finn Balor, it's just, I think they're, I think you'll see it more in the finals, um, yeah, I'll get to that later, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, they're ready, willing, and gable to face Baron Corbin and Rhino. Um, I, I honestly think Baron Corbin and Rhino are going to win this one. Corbin's just booked like a beast, and Rhino is the man-beast. Um, so, honestly, two huge beasts versus two like wrestlers, you can say. Um, usually, the beasts are going to win most of the time. Um, so I'm just going to go with Baron Corbin and Rhino. And then there's going to be the championship of the Dusty Classic. Finn Balor and Samoa Joe that I have versus Baron Corbin and Rhino. I feel like this will actually be a pretty good match, but there's going to be one heel turn either by Joe or Balor because I just know it, it's this is too big of a moment for NXT not to throw a huge swerve at everybody. And plus, you don't really know who... Um, who uh, Finn Balor's next feud is going to be, and then if you put him and Samoa Joe in the ring together against each other, amazing things will happen, and it's going to be an amazing feud, so I really hope they go with this. This would be sweet, and this will kind of hold the title scene over until Sami Zayn gets back, maybe, or maybe Sami Zayn just skips NXT, just goes to the main roster. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I will have Baron Corbin and Rhino as the champions of the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Calling it here, calling it now. I think my webcam is kind of like laggy. I don't know. I can't tell, really. Whatever. Uh, final three matches, you got Apollo Crews versus Tyler Breeze. We'll actually see a lot more of Apollo Crews, see a lot more of his moveset, um, which is already amazing. He'll probably throw in a few new moves that the NXT crowd hasn't seen. But And Tyler Breeze... I feel like he's just going to be always stuck in NXT because he can't get a character that translates to the main roster, kind of like Emma and Emma Taining and stuff like that. But he's also like a credible opponent in NXT as well. So putting him against Apollo Crews is good for Crews, Crews to get over. Uh, it won't seem like he's facing a jobber either. So yeah, I, I got Apollo Crews winning that one. Um, then I have Asuka versus Dana Brooke. Oh, man. This is going to be an ass-kicking. Asuka's just going to kick some Ask. <laughs> um, there would definitely be spots where Emma might d try to distract Asuka. Asuka comes at her, and then Dana Brooke um, will take advantage of it, but it won't go on for long. 
Asuka's just gonna kill. Um, then you got the main event. Bailey versus Sasha Banks. This is gonna be a hell of a match. 30 minute woman Iron Man match for the NXT women's title. I thought NXT Brooklyn was great, but they're gonna bring it all for this one. It's honest, it's probably gonna be Sasha's last match in NXT. She wants to go out on the right foot, and then Bailey she wants to retain the championship. So, 30 minutes of straight awesomeness, especially women's wrestling, which you won't see on the main roster. You won't see 30 minute matches for women's in uh, the main roster. So, um, I honestly think Bailey's gonna keep it because. There's no reason for Sasha Banks to stay in NXT anymore. So, yeah. I don't know if they'll announce any more matches just on the spot or something. Maybe they'll have Gargano and Ciampa again, or um, maybe an Eva Marie match. That'd be great. I, I can't see how they leave Enzo Amore and um, Colin Cassidy off the card either, so maybe they'll draw something into that. Um, so, yeah, that's my predictions for NXT TakeOver Respect. It looks like it's going to be a great show as of now. I don't know if they'll change it at all or anything. So, um, yeah, just leave a like, comment your predictions, and make sure you subscribe. So, I will see you all later.